So doing this video outside just because the kids and everything are inside and they end up in the video no matter what I do. So doing it outside and today's video is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to show you the last footage. I think it was two days out and that I took from uh, for my progress uh, pictures leading up to the last show and uh, I show you guys because you need to understand that uh, not only do I want to win the show I want to beat myself back in April because if I put in this amount of hours this amount of work and I don't end up being better than I was in April it kind of a waste uh, everything that you put into something uh, and it doesn't change is a waste of time so uh, when you train and you don't make progress it's not training it's maintenance so uh, the last thing I want to you know confirm in October has been being maintaining the same physique for six months working as hard as I have done so uh, Moving forward, I'm going to go back in my basement and do the physiques updates downstairs with the lighting that I have at hand. It's nothing fancy, it's just a lamp with some white light. Uh, it's okay. Like you see, uh, my physique back then it was okay. Uh, my upper body was very good. Uh, the thing that I always nitpick is like glutes and hams. Uh, ha hamstrings are in but uh, they need to be bigger you can see it on my side triceps that you know uh, it's starting to be uh, stringy but you want that little bit more hang from the side chest uh, for insi uh, instance so i need to be real full to get that hang in the hamstring and when i talk about you know carving up and all that uh, that is the hard part of it because uh, even though my chest looked full, doesn't mean my hamstring or my glutes or my back is full. So that is the hard part of the carving up. When when are you full and when have you spilled over? Or when can you push a little bit further? So that we'll get into a little bit later, moving you know, uh, a little bit closer to the show. Uh, when it comes to you know physique update uh, now, uh, it's gonna be... Uh, probably every third day or something like that because I want to see changes almost daily now for the next four weeks so I can be at the shape you see uh, seen at the video in two weeks out uh, just because I want to be better than last time so that means that uh, if I didn't put on any mass at all in the last six months I'm still six kilos higher in weight by today than I was uh, seven eight days in the future let me say it like that so now I'm a little bit over six weeks five weeks out I was 98 kilos today I was more than 104 so that's about the ratio that uh, I compare but then again you need to keep conditioning uh, also as a factor so that's a little bit hard but it all comes into play and we're gonna talk a lot about uh, what I look for and how I look you know filling up and trying different things because it's gonna be a couple of days where I'm trying to fill up and try to you know uh, almost make myself stage ready without making it influenced by training or my performance in a bad way so that means I can carb up and you know uh, remove a little bit of the subcutaneous water but then again uh, if you have subcut uh, subcutaneous water meaning water in your skin meaning that you have fat in your skin so <laughs> of course you ain't gonna be fat free they can peak and look very very good uh, but you never be, be fat free that's uh, almost impossible uh, nothing special today I did arms today and you might want to watch uh, my 40 kilos dumbbell curls the thing is you know you gotta have fun at training you gotta keep pushing and everything you want to accomplish push towards it and you know that goes with everything so today was a good day 
uh, moving forward I'm also gonna give you guys a little bit of a you know posting practice because I see a lot of people posing and I don't know if I don't know who taught them to post or they kind of made it up themselves or what they think of when they post uh, so I can make a couple of videos where I show you guys how I uh, what I go through when I move through the poses because it's a little bit of a process and it's a little thing the little things that can make the difference you know uh, the illusion is definitely there if you're uh, willing to you know go that route to to uh, pose a little bit different than everybody else so that was today's video uh, posing and bicep curl don't get any better than this tomorrow I'm gonna do deadlift 310 kilos four reps and it's gonna fly no matter what so stay tuned subscribe and like the video